This is turning into a great week for the enterprise cloud software plays. After the close tonight, Salesforce reported a tremendous quarter. So good, it's hard to remember that a year ago, this company was under siege by activist investors who wanted management to get religion on generating more profitability. They certainly delivered. Tonight, Salesforce reported a solid top and bottom line beat with a much better than expected operating margin and incredible cash flow numbers. Oh, and their data cloud division saw a major acceleration. That's the most important division, up 22% year over year, hence why the stock is roaring in after hours. So let's take a closer look with Mark Benioff. He's the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Salesforce to learn more about the quarter and what comes next. Mr. Benioff, welcome back to Bad Buddy. Jim, it's always great to be with you. Oh, same, Mark. Now, I've got to tell you, a year ago, people were saying, you know what, he's not going to do a big free cash flow number. He's not looking at the current remaining performance obligations. He's not delivering on the bottom line. I'm looking at current remaining performance obligations, $4 billion more than people thought. Free cash flow, $1.37 billion. People are looking for $681 million. How is this possible? Well, Jim, you can see these numbers. These are monster numbers, and it's a monster year. It's been incredible at Salesforce, and the transformation has been one of the biggest I've ever seen in software. I mean, the quarter, you can see these, these numbers. A few companies have ever delivered numbers in software at this size and scale, and not just in revenue, but in cash flow as well, exactly like you're saying this. Cash flow number, I think, is up a thousand percent year over year. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people were looking at. Uh, look, your earnings per share, obviously, much better than expected. But the numbers that I really count on, the ones that everyone's measuring by, are those two. Now, they're also measuring. One of the things that's happened this quarter is that when I hear someone does a lot of business with Amazon, it's worth ten percent immediately to their stock, and it, it pops up. I know you've always had a good relationship, but you're doing a huge amount of business now with Amazon Web Services. Well, you know that we have a great relationship with Andy Jassy, and I think he's one of the best CEOs in the world. And uh, the partnership that we've had with them has gone on for years and years. They're a huge customer of Salesforce, by the way. You know, Amazon uses Salesforce to maintain their customer relationships for B2B and B2C. That's really how all of this got started. We have got all of their customers on journeys, and we're providing our Einstein capabilities and our new data cloud to accelerate their growth, and it's working incredibly well. It's just an incredible success story for Salesforce. Well, you know, there's a new CEO at a, at a company I really respect and have used uh, and been a good client for, ADP. It's uh, Ms. Black, Maria Black. It seems like that she understands how to use Einstein better than anyone to keep her gazillion customers happy. What is she doing with you? Well, Maria Black is a fantastic CEO, probably one of the best in the industry, and I'm so glad that she is at ADP, a, com a great company and a brand of Salesforce. We've worked with them for literally decades, and they're doing a, a, just an incredible job with us really in three areas. One, first, it's a monster deal for us for the quarter, so you know that, Jim. But number two is they're really using our Einstein GPT to uh, create this kind of co-pilot relationship to make their sales reps much more successful. We're so excited about that. And they're using our data cloud as well, uh, which is going to help them to really get their data in shape so they can really accelerate with this AI revolution that's going on. Are you finding that people are using Einstein to make it so that they have a lot more time to be in touch with the customers and a lot less time typing, a lot less time doing administrative work that you're doing it? What is the multiplier that you are giving, force multiplier of Einstein? Jim, you've got three exciting drivers going on, or what you call multipliers. You know, number one is, Jim, I, I deals a million dollars and above this quarter are up like 80%. It's incredible. These very large deals, I haven't seen numbers like that in so long. And I'll tell you why. It's because companies are really adding all of these great products together into a suite. And it's not just our sales cloud and our service cloud and our marketing cloud, but it's also Tableau, it's Slack, it's MuleSoft, and it's also Einstein GPT. And the final a cherry on the top of the cake is our data cloud. That is an incredible new product. And I think in the quarter, Jim, actually, we did a thousand new data cloud customers. Isn't that amazing? Uh, it, add to that another huge driver for the quarter is our Einstein GPT Copilot technology. This is also amazing, where we did 550 Einstein GPT Copilot deals for customers. So these are customers really putting AI to use. Now, and that is what I think is starting to really drive our growth in these exciting new ways. Is it every vertical? I know finance is supposed to be late. How about retail? Who is putting the money in manufacturing? Where are you seeing it? Jim, this is really across the board. We, I just got off the a plane, as you know, I've been in Tokyo all week. Jim, right. I couldn't believe the traction. 
Every single customer was implementing data cloud. We did our world tour yesterday. I did the keynote, I got on the plane, I got off the plane, I'm here. You know, we had thousands of customers who are interested in deploying data cloud in Japan because they all need to go AI. You're not going to go AI in your enterprise until you get your data together. You're not just using the Reddit data or oh. the internet data the way ChatGPT is, you know, for your enterprise. You have to get your data together, and that's why Salesforce Data Cloud is so important, and it's why we did those thousand data cloud deals in the quarter. And when you look now at what we've done, even in just such a short period of time with Einstein Chat, uh, Einstein GPT, which is our co-pilot product, 17% already of the Fortune 100 are already now these Einstein AI customers. This is the new technology. Not, I'm not even taking into consideration the trillion Einstein transactions we did this week, which is our predictive and generative layer, our whole trust layer. That did a trillion transactions. These are just across the board new customers. Okay, well, I so them, it's like a trillion a month, and now it's a trillion a week. And when I see you next, is it really possible it could be a trillion a day? Well, Jim, this is just an incredible opportunity, what's happening now, and I think we're going to see some unbelievable opportunities with Einstein, and we're going to see some incredible capabilities, not just with predictive AI, but with generative AI as well. Now, is it possible that you yourself are using it? Because when I saw the headcount, your headcount is down substantially from a year ago, and yet your revenues are exploding, so you're using it too. Look, Jim, if you look at the employment data and you know, look at what ADP is saying, what ADP is saying is that we have incredibly low employment. We're going to need more productivity. Right. Where is that productivity going to come from, Jim? It's going to come from AI. We all need to be using this AI technology to take advantage of basically the incredible you know, opportunities in, 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 the, in the labor market. So if we're going to be able to maximize what we have in our companies, we need to deploy this AI technology. To do that, we have to do a number of things. One of them is going to be using these data clouds so that we can get our data together. That is our fundamental message to our customers. You saw that at Dreamforce right. and how successful that was. And it's successful really all over the world. I, I mean, I, I'm so excited about what all of our customers are doing with our data cloud. All right, well, how successful have you been in the world of open AI? I saw your tweets. I know that they have a lot of good people. Have some of them felt liberated and want to go to Salesforce? Well, you, you're right. I, I am recruiting aggressively uh, artificial intelligence engineers. Well, I'm recruiting ag aggressively all kinds of great engineers. And some of those folks that we'll be able to get back are were actually our employees before their Ohanas, their rebounds. And we're excited to get that kind of uh, get that uh, opportunity. That's so exciting for us when we get that boomerang coming back at Salesforce. We've had a tremendous success with that. And uh, listen, if you're a Salesforce uh, alumni or Arahana, and you want to come back, you know how to email me personally, and I will uh, take care All of right. you. All right, well, next question. You sent me a book, Ghost Fleet, not that long ago, and it made me worried. It made me worried that perhaps the Chinese could be more than just, uh, let's say, uh, uh, economic competitors. When you sat down with President Xi you, uh, recently, uh, did, did you find him more friendly, given the fact that his nation's economy is sinking and ours is on the rise? Jim, I was so grateful that President Xi came to San Francisco to our great city, and I was so grateful for a successful APAC conference where we had about 35 heads of state. Uh, we hosted many of them at Salesforce Tower, showing them this vision of artificial intelligence, and I felt there. And also, I'll also tell you at the UK Safety Summit, which I also attended in the quarter, Jim, uh, the Chinese ministry came, and to see China participating on the world stage and uh, really having that collaborative relationship uh, with uh, with us again. This is so important for everyone well, uh, going know, forward. And I'll tell you that in the quarter, we also deployed at Alibaba for the first time, in, in, including put it getting Caring and LVMH up and running on the Alibaba cloud. I am so excited about that. It's a huge you, accomplishment. You, 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 you buried quarter. the lead. These are all the great companies that you could possibly see. Mark Benioff with an, honestly, Mark, an amazing quarter. Congratulations. I, I thought know, the summer yeah, quarter been, was good. This is amazing. It's awesome. It's an awesome Incredible. quarter. Congratulations. Well, we're going to do 8.7. I mean, Jim, you look at it, not just an $8.7 billion quarter. We're going to do now $34.8 billion. Even for the David year Faber will be impressed. I mean, that is really saying something, isn't it? We will see. 
Well, I'll see you tomorrow on a replay, no doubt. Be Mark nice to David Favor, Jim. <laughs> Come on, he's a great guy. You know I that. Promise. That's Mark Benny. I'm co-founder, chair, and CEO of Salesforce CRM. And yes, congratulations Come on a great Francisco, quarter. Jim. We love you. I'll see you we soon. We love having you here. I'll see you soon. Thank Good you. you. Okay, uh -huh. bye-bye. Coming up, hopes are high. Can this company turn flurries into an earnings blizzard? Snowflake joins Kramer next.